So your launch is around the corner, but your website landing page is looking a little bland. Don't stress, you're almost there. Here are 10 tips to tighten up your landing page design. Tip number one is keep brand capitalization consistent. When a new user arrives at your landing page and you've got different case variations of your brand name, it looks unprofessional and can even be confusing. I'd advise avoiding all caps, but once you've chosen a case style, stick with it and ensure it's consistent throughout your landing page. Tip number two is give those lonely orphans a family. This means bringing those floating last words in a paragraph back home by slightly reducing the paragraph font size, or even better, boot out unnecessary adjectives like awesome or amazing. Same goes for your brand name. If it's comprised of three words, it must remain three words everywhere with no overflows. Tip number three is don't neglect retina optimization. If anything, you absolutely must have a retina optimized logo. A pixelated logo can negatively impact a first impression. Tip number four is add breathing room. The majority of users are going to skim your content. If you bundle everything together, they are gonna skim even more. White space is referred to the breathing room of your content, but also the breathing room for the user. This slows them down, helps increase focus, and in turn naturally increases conversions. Tip number five is keep spacing consistent. We've just covered adding more padding. The same goes for the often overlooked vertical spacing, keeping the section padding consistent throughout your long scrolling landing page. A good practice is spacing and sizing within ratios. For example, all section padding is 60 pixels, all CTA buttons and small spaces are 30 pixels, and all small gaps are 15 pixels. Tip number six is fewer images, better images. It can take one good image to completely change the emotion of your user. Same goes for one bad image. Good imagery builds trust, and trust is the foundation of conversions. Spend the money, get a photo shoot of your team, your product, your food. The ROI on a professional photo shoot is pretty much guaranteed. Now, once you have a good selection, ask yourself if each image truly captures your story or complements your brand. Eliminate everything that doesn't. Tip number seven is fewer fonts, more weights. Too many fonts just looks messy and also adds to landing page load time. Try stick to two or less font families and even consider bringing in the user's system font as the sans serif typeface. Tip number eight is more text color contrast. Avoid having pure black text on pure white page backgrounds. Soften the blow with an off-white background and a subtle gray text hierarchy. Furthermore, why not experiment with completely different color palettes within your landing page? A quality color scheme is instantly remarkable and can strengthen your branding. Tip number nine is juice up those call to action buttons. Ideally, your landing page is promoting one thing, so all your CTA buttons should be consistently worded and color schemed. It'll remind the user what you want them to do as they scroll. It's also good practice to choose a button color that stands out within your scheme. For example, a bright orange button within a blue color scheme. Tip number 10 is polish with text kerning and font smoothing. It's incredible how the smallest kerning tweaks can drastically improve a landing page design. Furthermore, by adding just a few lines of CSS code, you can really polish typography with a more elegant look. And my bonus tip is declutter throughout. We're not trying to convince the user with as much as possible. It's as little as possible. Two brilliant testimonials, not eight average ones. Your best wedding photographs, not your past four years of work. Remember, attention spans are diminishing online, so we need to get to the point in our landing pages. I really hope you enjoyed this video on how to tighten your landing page design. What go-to tips do you have that I've left out? Hit me up in the comments below, and why not share this video with a friend about to launch a side project you never know, it could help them just improve that first impression.